This is the sprint plan view. It's composed of different kind of tasks. So here, the usual tasks are not associated to any story. The, the recurrent tasks are to do every sprint. And here, this is the two story attached to the sprint earlier. Now I will show you how to create new tasks. So I will call my first task backlog demonstration. I also set my task with the corresponding feature, so I choose show product backlog. You have the possibility to attribute a remaining time. Or as the story and feature creation, you have the possibility to make a description, to tag it, to choose a color, or to add file to your task. So I click on add and continue to make another task. So I will call sprint plan feature demonstration. I associate this task with show sprint plan. I can press enter and return to the sprint plan on view. Now I want to manage my tasks. Tasks. If I drag my task in progress column, I take the task and will be in charge of it. You can see my name appearing below the task name. I have already finished my task show the product backlog so I can put it on the done column. I can declare now my story as done. However, I always want to show more sprint plan functionality, so I can shift my feature to the next sprint. I can now close my sprint 1 and start the sprint 2. The first sprint is now closed. We can move to the next sprint just by refreshing the page. The unfinished story is still available on the sprint 2. So um, I move my task to in progress because I had to show you um, another feature. I create a new task. I call it technical task. I associate with show task board. I want to back to the sprint plan. So I would like to work on this task, but like sometimes team members have problems to perform their assignments. So that's why on iScrum you can report a problem to the project team by clicking on block. Next, I'm going to show you a feature of the pro version, the task board.